hey, we're going to be making these cool custom glow boxes. It, it can be whatever shape you want. This one's a letter A. And there's fairy lights inside. They, they light up. They can have the light shine through the letter itself. You could be like this one and have kind of a window for the light or have the light, have an open window where you look in and see the glowing shape. I even had some students do a secret message. So here's this. And there's a secret message once you turn it on. It says smile. Really cool in the dark. And all you need to do to make one of these is an idea for a shape. So if you take a look at all the shapes that I'm showing on the screen right now, you'll see that there's really no limit to what it could be. For my example, I will be making a horn that says skull on it. So what you need to have first is a sheet of paper and just cut it out in whatever shape that you want. If it's a letter, here's a letter M. When you're cutting it out, cut out two at the same time. So maybe fold your paper in half, cut it out so you get, get two. And what you want to do is make these kind of rigid, make these kind of stiff. And to do that, what we're doing is we're hot gluing sticks to the inside. So there's a little bit of hot glue, little specks of hot glue with a stick stuck on top. We use these mini popsicle sticks that are much smaller than normal popsicle sticks because they, they don't stack up so much. They're not quite as bulky as normal popsicle sticks. And the first thing that you want to do once you have your shape is put popsicle sticks around the border of that shape, the outside. And you want to keep as close to the edge as you can. Once you have the border done, put crisscrosses, X's, and triangles on the inside so that it's more like a board, more stiff. You want to make a plan for where the light is going to come out. A lot of my students' projects ended up looking like this, where you can see the popsicle sticks. The students who planned it didn't put any popsicle sticks over the space where they want the light to come out. So this side, it's a nice crisp A, and there's only little popsicle sticks on the edges. This side, you can see that there's random popsicle sticks on the inside that you can, you can still see. I think that's a cool look, but you need to think about it before you are gluing popsicle sticks to the inside. In this case, I only have a little window that I want the word to shine out through. So I'm going to avoid putting popsicle sticks back behind this. And the rest of it, I can, I can make into a nice, strong shape. So once you have your two shapes and you're ready to make it 3D, there's a few things you might want to think about. First of all, how do you get it, how do you get the light to shine where you want it to shine? Well, if you're putting a light inside of here, what will happen is that you'll lose half of the light going out the back. And so what I had my students do is that I have my students put tin foil on the back where they don't want light to shine through so that the tin foil reflects the light upward and makes it just that much brighter. It's pretty simple to get tin foil on there. If you've just hot glued it, sometimes it'll stick without any fuss at all. And once the tin foil's in place, you'll notice that there's much more light shining up through the face that you want it to shine through. So the tin foil goes on the bottom here. Lift up a corner, put a little bit of hot glue, get the tin foil down there. And once you put your lights on top, here's the only light I have left after our project. Once you put the light on there, the light will reflect off the tin foil and it'll be much brighter than simply off of paper. Here's what it looks like off of paper. You can see that it's much brighter when you have tin foil reflecting the light back forward. So, once you have this tin foil on here, you can go ahead and hot glue your lights on. Once you've hot gluing your lights on, you need to start making this into a 3D shape. So a 3D shape is, is really easy to make if you simply have a couple note cards. 
What I like to do is take these note cards and I fold them the long way. And if you can make it, if you can give it a 90 degree heat crease, it's even easier to work with. All we need to do is get it on a corner. So now once it's on the corner, it's much easier to place the other piece, have it held at the right space, have it parallel and have it not wiggling around while you're trying to attach it, attach all the other supports. Before I actually attach this piece, I mentioned putting tinfoil on, what I should have said at that point. Make sure you put your lights on at this point too. The easiest time to put your lights in will be right now. It's not going to matter for me because you can't really see inside of mine. I'll be able to cram my lights in after I put everything in. However, if you have uh, the time and the space, you should, you should just glue your lights on. You can hot glue on those light packs. You can hot glue on the batteries. You can hot glue on air, all of it. Hot glue is just fine. Now the last steps to finishing this, now that I have this note card holding it nice, is I'm going to take popsicle sticks and start putting triangles and X's all the way up and all the way around the other side. So once I have those triangles in, I'll put the lights in, hot glue to the back, and it'll shine out. This is such a fun project. It, it gives a lot, students a lot of creativity. It gives you a lot of experience working with materials, taking a piece of paper and, and changing it into something rigid. It gives you a, maybe your first 3D project that I really enjoy working on this project with students. I'd love to see what you make in your classrooms. Have a good rest of your day. Bye now.